Now tell me what is the answer? Who asked that question? Last question. Anindra. Anindra. Ah, uh, tell me how the data will be synchronized in the clustering setup. When will the disks are automatically moved to secondary? Hmm. Then what is the need of synchronization, right? <laughs> That's what we said. The very important point. Once I started clustering, discussed clustering, immediately I said one point: there is no data synchronization. Sir, this is not data synchronization. This is uh, instance level. Correct. That's what I'm saying. Okay, there is no data synchronization concept in the clustering. See, when data synchronization will come into the picture, if you have SQL Server up and running on both the nodes, okay. the data will transfer in the log shipping data will be transferred through the log backup jobs right in the mirroring it will be transferred through the endpoints using separate channel in the replication will be transferred using a agents agents will be there they are going to transfer the data between your publisher and subscriber whereas in the clustering in the clustering in the clustering there is no data synchronization guys in the clustering there is no data synchronization simply the resources will run from one node either a node one or node two from which node it is running that node is called primary node or else what is the other name for primary node guys active node active node <clears throat> right active node so we'll call that node as a active node right clear right any issues any doubts here please let me know we'll discuss fine okay so guys is it clear or any issues in the cluster setup awesome. let me know if you are having any issues in the cluster setup we'll discuss right this is for flipkart application guys listen carefully same thing i am not explaining any different thing and all same thing i am trying to explain okay so your flipkart application this sql server belongs to your flipkart application right okay done right okay good so like this in the in the excel sheet we discussed right in case if we have multiple applications what to do how to set up okay let's go with one more application this this time we'll go with amazon okay let's let's go with amazon guys let's go with amazon application or else let me go with this gear symbol okay this is second application guys this is second application listen carefully very easy okay very easy nothing to worry this is my amazon dot in now can anyone help me in drawing the diagram for amazon same application forget about flipkart this time imagine you are configuring amazon application for amazon node 2 is your primary node now tell me just help me to draw the diagram guys please <clears throat> What I have to draw? Forget about this. Use this setup, okay? For the Amazon, use this setup means use this diagram and tell me what and all another application needs. Shared drives. Very good. Very good. Very good. Excellent. SQL Server shared drives. Okay. Let's set up SQL Server shared drives. Okay. SQL Server will be done. ip address okay very good and remove the stop remove the stop symbol uh, remove the stop symbol okay that no, is so fine need to another Connect, connection huh? string a connection string forget about connection string do we have connection string here no sir so application let's, let's uh, i'll i'll attach now tell me uh, can i use this sql server for my amazon dot in application No, 
no sir you have to no right no, another very, database yes. very common point right so actually, let's go with the uh, one more sql server we'll install one more sql server okay we'll install one more sql server right we'll install one more sql server and this time the sql server will be up and running from your from your node to this is for this setup is for amazon dot in application right so at maximum 50 uh, 50 applications can be run in one single day. you have to tell me sir okay, how many cluster instances i can install you have to tell me okay so listen here yeah okay so what i can do what i can do okay let me go like this okay or else what i can do control z someone started video <clears throat> right okay Laser, laser, laser. Right. Okay, guys. Is that fine? Is that diagram suitable for our existing setup? Yes, sir. Okay. So let's try to name it. Okay. So this is my Flipkart SQL Server. Okay. I'll just mention. Okay, Flipkart SQL Server. F SQL. Okay. So F SQL is up and running from your node one that's why we'll call it as f sql f sql means flip card just I, I just want to mention this sql server belongs to f sql okay the same application f sql is in stopped state right this is for a sql amazon sql okay there is no f sql a sql and all i'm just saying guys just to identify the difference that's it okay this is your a sql amazon sql and same a sql will be in stopped state guys same as equal will be in stopped state. So is it clear, everyone? Okay. So this is your SQL server. Now tell me, guys. Okay. So what is the node we'll call that? From which node the application is up and running? What is that node we'll call? Active, Active node. node. Active yeah. node, right? So what Active is this setup? Is it an active active? Can we call active this an active of. and active? Can yes, we call this active yes, and active, guys? Listen carefully. We will have two types of setups in the clustering, guys. One is active, active node means you know from which node application is running, up and running. What is the other node, guys? Passive. Passive, passive. node, very good. Passive node means no services are running. Okay, right. So for Flipkart, this is your Flipkart application. This Flipkart application is up and running from your node one. So node one is a primary node for Flipkart or else node one is a active node for Flipkart. Agree everyone? Yes, node two yes, is a passive node for Flipkart. Is it clear? Agree? Yes, yes, yes. Right. For Amazon, node two is an active node Earlier, before configuring Amazon, we have active passive setup. Agree, guys? We have only one application. That application, either it will run from primary node, node 1 or <coughs> node 2. Okay? So, we don't have multiple applications. Earlier, before to this Amazon setup, we have only one SQL server. And that SQL server is up and running from your node 1. And it is in stopped state in node 2. What is that setup called, guys? Active passive. Active passive. Passive node means your node 2. No SQL services are up and running. Guys, simple concept from which node your SQL services are up and running, that node will call it as a active node. That's it. From which node your SQL server is up and running, that is your active node. For Flipkart, earlier, the node, the SQL server is up and running from node 1. So that is active node. And the other node, it is not running. That is called passive node. Now, two applications came into the picture. Okay. 
Amazon is up and running from Node two. So Amazon for Amazon Node two is active node for same Amazon Node one is passive node. So active and active. What is this setup called? Active active clustering. Is it clear, guys? What is active active? What is active passive? Yes. Everyone. Yes. <laughs> Right. So active means from which node your application is running. Your SQL server is up and running. That is your active node. Passive means if it is not work, the SQL server is not running. If it is in the stopped state, that is passive node. Of course, if you say, sir, can I call this as passive passive setup? Yes, you can call it. No one will talk about a villain in the movie. Everyone will talk about hero only. That hero did did like this, like this. Okay. So like this only they are going to talk. Right. So in the same way. Passive, passive also you can call, but the main concept is active, active guys. Why? Because sir, this is also passive. This is also passive. Can I call this as passive, passive setup? You can call it. Technically, there is no passive, passive, but yes, you can call it. Why? Because that is a passive. Node one is passive. Node two is passive. But we'll call active, active or active passive setup, guys. Is it clear? Now I have a quick question for all of you. How can I make an active, active setup into active, passive setup? Please try to respond, everyone. This is an active active setup, guys. I want to make this setup as an active passive. How can I do that? Just try it. How can I do that? Turn off every instance in other nodes. If I turn off, what will happen? One one server will be down. One application will be down. So that is called active passive. Huh? That is the only way we have. Do we have any better way without turning off? Okay, you got good. Um, that's okay. You gave one way. Okay, without turning off my application, my application can't down. Okay, but uh, I want to convert this as a active passive setup. How can I do that? Complete active passive setup. How can I do that? Very simple, right? I can. I, I guess you know the answer. The same what you are thinking. That is the answer, guys. Tell me, no problem. How can I convert an active pass, active active setup into active passive setup? Tell me. The I'm passive. Just... Sorry. Sorry. It's in idle stop. Yeah. Idle stop. What is meant by mm -hmm. idle stop? There is no services. Hmm. Tell me. Tell me. <laughs> Yeah, Someone is asking us to put one more an extra node, node three, huh? Guys, just, tell me, tell me, tell me what and all answers you know. Tell me, no problem. Okay, no problem. Just tell me. We'll we'll see how you understood this concept. Yeah, tell me. Whichever the Amazon Sorry, what I have to do? Whichever the uh, Whichever. Amazon. What is the better uh, word? Failover. Who said switch over? Panindra. Panindra, you will get five reward points. Okay, correct, guys. If I fail over the SQL server, the SQL server will be up and running from the node one. Okay, the SQL server will be up and running from the node one, and the same SQL server will be stopped in the node two, and all the drives will be moved towards your okay. Node one, right? And of course, IP address also will be moved your node one. So now tell me, guys, is it an active active or active passive? Without uh, downing my application, my application will be up and running, okay? And of course, you can see the SQL server will be stopped on 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 Control Z, are oh. on guys on your secondary, secondary node. node. Is it clear, guys? Sir, is it fine? Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Right. This is how we can convert an active active into active passive setup. Now I have two applications, so I can easily fail over one application. So once I stopped the SQL Server, automatically it will be up and running from this particular node, or else in intentionally you can fail over the application. You can stop it. It will be up and running from node two. That is not good way. Stopping application is not good way. So you can happily fail over the application from your node two to node one. So node two no service will be up and running. So if no service is up and running, that is purely passive node. 
and node one two services up and running for up flipkart one application plus for amazon one more application so two sql servers are up and running so purely it is an active node and node mm -hmm. two purely it is a passive node guys is it clear any issues any doubts are we good in the cluster setup guys is it a difficult task mm -hmm. no right so tell me to configure windows clustering what and all i should have tell me guys forget about sql server sql server is one uh, cluster aware application like that lot of cluster aware applications are there i want to configure windows cluster setup address uh, hard disk and ip address very good shared disks correct correct guys listen one more thing okay very important these two drives belongs to my flipkart only you cannot start sir there are there are lot of free space in these two drives can i use these two drives for my amazon no once the drives are attached to one sql server you can store only that sql server data in those particular drives guys okay in the same way amazon lot of free space even the lot of free space is there you cannot make use the same drives for another instance why because the whole drive will move right if you can store the data sir you said it is a shared storage can't we store another instance how can we store tell me if if this application is fail over the drive also will be moved so the data will be lost guys okay so technically you cannot store the data in the shared drives of other instances for which instance you have configured this is one set this is called resource group rg resource group guys this is one set if something happened the whole thing your sql server will be moved to the node 2 your drives will be moved to the node 2 your ip addresses will be moved to the node 2 okay this is one set for flipkart this is one set for amazon okay you cannot store the other instances data in this drive while configuring sql server flipkart sql server itself will map these drives to flipkart application so only flipkart data you can store on the drives you cannot store other instance data or other application data in the same drives guys clear okay fine i will give you one one question to all of you okay of course sanjeev already answered this question how many cluster instances sanjeev don't tell the answer okay how many cluster instances we can configure on a cluster setup how many sql server cluster instances how many instances we can install in a machine guys stand alone 50 50 50 right so the same way how many cluster instances i can install on a failover cluster setup that is the answer for uh, that is the question for today let me know the answers for tomorrow okay just try it and let me know right i want to mention one thing what is that hmm wsfc what is this wsfc guys window windows windows failover failover clustering. server failover failover clustering. clustering ssfc what is ssfc sql server failover cluster correct failover sql cluster. server failover clustering okay so or simply generally will call failover clustering okay failover clustering means your window server failover clustering right so are we good guys can we jump into the demo are we good with this setup is it clear yes. having any doubts please let me know i'll explain again mainly they will ask okay what is the active active setup what is meant by active passive setup okay uh how many ip addresses are needed i'll tell you about ip addresses and all how many ip addresses are needed for configuring clustering okay i'll tell you guys right okay so how your primary node knows something went wrong okay something went wrong it has to fail out to secondary node right how your primary node knows about the secondary node how it knows whether secondary <laughs> node is up and running or not how Have it known? Yes. Is there with the help of forum, sir? Okay, that's fine. That is one answer. Active directory. Getting to the alt. Sorry. 
checking the uh, um, uh, heart rate of the secondary server. <laughs> okay, good. Good, 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 good. Let's. This one is good or this one is good? Tell me, guys. Pink heart or black heart? Tell me. All are bad. All are bad. Ah, huh? are you don't have heart? Let's go like this. Okay. Right. So this is called heartbeat, guys. Heartbeat. Okay. Heartbeat means. Right in the in the mirroring we discussed it right communication between the principal and mirror servers, right? Always the principal server will send an acknowledgement to mirror server. Mirror server mirror server will acknowledge, hey, I am there. In the same way, your primary your primary node will keep sending, okay, uh, high high messages to all secondary nodes, guys. Why? Because it's primary responsibility whether all why because if secondary node is down to which node it has to fail over there are no alternate options right so it's very important that all the secondary nodes should be up and running it's very important so your primary node has extra responsibility that it will make sure whether all my secondary nodes are up and running how it will make sure it will send a high message to each and every secondary node for every 5 seconds for every 5 seconds it will send high like a beep it will send a heartbeat that is called private communication between the nodes. So that is called heartbeat, the private communication. Why? Because it don't depends on public network. Every five seconds, uh, the data has to be transferred. Five seconds, uh, okay, it will send a high message to all secondary. In, in this case, only one secondary is there. Imagine I have three node cluster set up. Imagine I have three node cluster set up. Your node one will send high message to node two, node three. Node two and node three will again reply back hey i am there don't worry note 2 will reply hey i am there don't worry note 3 will reply hey i am there don't worry again after 5 seconds again your primary node will send messages hi note 1 note 2 are you there note 3 are you there again your note 2 note 3 will reply yeah we are there okay so every 5 seconds continuously Every five seconds, continuously the data will move. This communication will move between your primary and secondary node. Right? So, so that is a continuous communication. Five, five seconds means in a, in a minute, how many five seconds? 20, 20 times. Jason, <laughs> Paul, Right. Every five seconds, every five seconds, it will send an acknowledgement. It will send a messages to your secondary nodes and every, every five seconds, those secondary nodes will reply. So they cannot depends on primary public network guys. Huge brother will be there. Huge brother will be there on public communication. So they will use separate communication channel to discuss these private communication. Okay. Hi and hello. So that is called heartbeat. The private communication between your nodes is called heartbeat. Only for saying hi and hello, okay, we have an extra network called heartbeat. Heartbeat is a simple a private network between the nodes. Why it is going to be used, guys? Just a primary will send hi to a secondary nodes. Secondaries will reply back hello. Okay, it's a continuous process, right? So if again, it depends on public network, there will be a lot of pressure on the public network. So instead of that, it will go with the private network. So that private communication is called a heartbeat. The name itself heartbeat guys. Sometimes they will ask in the interview, what is heartbeat in the cluster setup? Private communication. Private communication yeah. channel. Yeah. Private heartbeat means the private communication channel between the nodes is called heartbeat. Okay. So for heartbeat, we'll set up one more IP address, guys. One more private IP address will be there for primary node. One more private IP address will be there for second node, okay? Right? So listen carefully. What are the steps, main steps for configuring clustering? Okay, main steps for configuring clustering.
okay so very easy guys class string setup is very easy of course just by looking the diagrams you can tell me okay for, as of now forget about sql server sql server uh, installing sql server is called sql clustering that we'll discuss in the sql clustering uh, concept okay first we should have failover cluster yeah, instance okay. feature we have to install failover cluster instance feature step 1 install failover clustering on all the nodes okay step 2 step 2 configure once we install we have to configure right configure failover clustering on primary node one node is enough guys you can configure failover clustering on primary node is enough automatically we can add secondary node okay right so once failover clustering is configured guys you have to con uh, concentrate more on shared storage this is where we'll create issue creating shared storage is a lengthy process uh, somewhat hectic process not hectic if you are very comfortable it's very easy process but you might feel first time you are trying guys you might feel okay somewhat uh, a hectic process okay so but it's very simple if you understood this concept of course we'll create a uh, ip addresses now it's not a big issue we can add ip addresses now okay ip address adding ip address is not a big task guys so is it clear now can we can we go for failover clustering okay so we'll go for failover clustering we'll set up failover clustering guys tomorrow i'll i'll continue this shared storage today i'll i'll complete these two steps of course i'll add ip addresses also private ip addresses as of now we have ip addresses right public ip address what is the public ip address public ip is ah One. any public ip is for node 1 public ip is for node 2 tell me guys 10 dot node 1 ip address node 2 ip address that's it yes sir okay 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 2 okay these are my public ips <coughs> i'll set up for two more ip addresses private ip addresses heartbeat okay heartbeat i'll add uh, two more ip addresses 192.168. 0.1.1 anything anything you can give 0.1 also you can give no issues okay next for node 2 192.168.1.2 <laughs> okay so i have to add this is already there guys this is already there public ip is already we have configured earlier itself so we have to add extra ips 192.168.1.1 and 192.168.1.2 guys okay so to add extra ip address first we have to stop the machine okay we have to stop the machine guys let's stop the machine control delete 1 2 3 then only the network adapters will be available guys okay go to settings if you go to network adapter 2 you cannot see right adapter 2 it is in disable state i cannot go to adapter why because now i have to add extra adapter adapter 1 is using for public okay adapter 2 will we have to use it for heartbeat so it is in disable state so i cannot use it now okay chalo let's go to this uh, not this one guys i'm just checking okay network adapter 2 okay done right chalo you have to set up this private ip address only for node 1 and node 2 don't touch active directory no need to add extra adapter for active directory guys only add extra adapter for node 1 and node 2 so to add it first i have to stop the vm let me stop the vm guys then i'll add extra adapter then i'll assign 192.168.1.2 1.1 and 1.2 how i have assigned 1.1 uh, 10.10.10.1 how I, i how i have assigned guys anyone remember that step yes sir go to the ethernet property and Correct. ipv4 and select the enter the ip that's it okay so first let me add the adapter node 1 settings 
let me go to network now this time you can see right adapter 2 is enabled enable network adapter okay as this is an internal network internal communication select internal communication don't select bridge adapter and all make sure it is allow all okay that's it click okay add one more adapter it is taking time to shut down okay let me shut down this this is my note 2 and active directory this time we'll use active directory for okay this time we'll use active directory for configuring the shared storage okay usually in the organization we don't configure shared storage in the active directory but anyhow we have active directory set up right we'll use it instead of going third server you cannot make four servers up and running right it's very difficult okay due to our resources we cannot create one more server okay our servers our laptop will be hanged so one minute guys right okay okay so let me go to this network and i have added right internal network internet and advanced hello all okay that so let me start it guys okay let me start it here is my node 1 node 1 node 1 let me start node 1 uh, i'll close the session early today guys okay okay <laughs> issue 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 Okay, so let's start second machine. In the in the meantime, we'll we'll add the adapter in the first machine, node one. Okay, control delete. It's very easy, like how we did for the first time. Okay, one two three. We have added public network right ten dot ten dot ten dot one NCPA properties. Yes, sir. <clears throat> the same way we have this time earlier we have added ten dot ten dot ten dot one. This time we'll add one ninety two one sixty eight one dot one. That's it. Process is same. Okay, so Windows R and CPA dot CPL. Guys, tell me, heartbeat is mandatory? They will ask this entry question. Is heartbeat mandatory for the cluster setup? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Definitely to communicate. Yeah. Not mandatory. Hmm. Very good. Not mandatory. Then how they are going to communicate? So communication is mandatory or not mandatory? Communication mandatory, sir, whether it is uh, running, uh, I mean, if you want to fail over, you have to come. Okay. So, separate sir, heartbeat please. is mandatory or not mandatory? Sir, mandatory. it depends if other protocols will run on that heartbeat uh, communication acknowledgement. Mm, I don't have that much knowledge, sir. Simple question. Mandatory or not mandatory? Not mandatory, sir. Then. Okay. Right. Okay, we'll see, guys. We'll discuss it. Okay. Right, this is google.com that we have already added. If you remember, this is my public IP address. Right click, properties, okay, TCP IP, IPv4. If you remember, you can see 10.10.10.1. You can see here, guys. In the meantime, it is showing identifying, right? So that's why I'm just opening. I'm going to show the 10.10. Double click on IPv4, you can see 10.10.10.1 that we have already configured, okay? So, chalo, this time let's try to configure for this network adapter properties ipv4 again you have to give 192.168.1.1 okay use the following ip address 
192.168.1.1 okay just click on subnet mask don't add anything guys click okay that's it click okay right so that's it we have added private network and let's go to the same node too and try to add private network guys once private net network is added then we'll we'll install the cluster setup failover clustering will install guys we have to install failover clustering on both the nodes but configuring has to be done only from primary node okay configuring has to be done from only primary node guys Who is that small baby? Baby girl or baby boy, guys? Okay, so let's wait for the node to. Once network is up, then we'll configure. Okay, yeah. In the meantime, let's reconnect, guys. Let's reconnect. It is showing one minute. 